Brian, how do you feel about the tempo offense, and how do you think you guys ran it today? Um, I, mean, I feel good about it. You know, the faster we go, the more points we score. You know, um, I mean, we ran it pretty good today. You know, there's always room for improvement. We can always go faster, so that's about it. Uh, one for Brad, the emphasis this spring has kind of been on the tempo of the offense. How difficult is it to catch up as, as a defensive guy? Uh, definitely the tempo. It, may, it makes a big difference on the defense, I ain't even going to lie. But uh, it's good, like, when we practice and stuff, because, like, going against teams that, you know, just run huddle, it'll be a lot simpler, a lot easier. Guys have to breath, guys have to win, be easier for guys to line up and get the play across. And, Brian, you guys uh, have a couple of practices after this, but when do you start the offseason uh, throwing drills with your quarterbacks, and how important is that to, uh, to keep developing throughout the summer? Um, I mean, we, we pretty much start the drills right after the, you know, the couple of practices are over. You know, a lot of guys stay in May and stay, and we're going to be here for this month too. So, you know, we're going to just throw and meet up just like we normally do. Brian, do you just see kind of what you were able to do out there today, sort of almost a preview of what you might be able to do next uh, next year? Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely a little preview. You know, I still got a lot of room for improvement, you know, draw the pass today, you know, but it's definitely a little preview of what I can do. Brian, what, what excites you about this offense now that you've seen it almost in an in-game situation? I guess what stands out to you as far as the difference from this offense this year to last year? Um, big plays, touchdowns, yards, money to be made, you know? Brian, did you give Steve Spurrier any uh, advice after he dropped that touchdown pass today? Ah, oh, man, I think he had some golfing gloves on or something. I don't know. <laughs> kind of rocked it like a baby and came out. I don't know if we could help him on that one. I thought he won the Heisman or something, didn't he? I don't know. <laughs> Got to have some type of athletic ability. You know, that one looked bad, though. Probably catch him on not top ten or something. <laughs> um, Brad, uh, Coach Muschamp came in here and kind of said that he felt like the offense was where he – was about where he wanted it to be. Defense was a little bit behind. Did he kind of say the same thing to you guys? Uh, well, you know, T. Rob definitely did. Uh, just, just guys, you know, uh, having better time lining up, getting to the ball, uh, getting the ball out. He talked about that. Uh, we focused on that spring, and we ain't we ain't really come through with it. Uh, it's something we focus on every day. And T. Rob talks about it every day when we meet about when we meet every morning. So getting the ball off is definitely like our top our top priority on defense. And that's how we win games. So we didn't do that in spring. So we definitely have to focus on it now. How, Brad, how does the tempo uh, make it harder for the offense or to get the ball away from the offense? How does it make it harder for the offense? How does it, how does it make it harder for you guys to get the ball away from the offense? I'm sorry. Uh, just fatigue, I guess, for guys, you know. Uh, just like I said, uh, guys having energy, just running to the ball, being explosive. You know, you're not going to have that same explosive on plays, but you got to find it. And, uh, you know, it, ma it makes it tougher on, you know, everybody from the cornerbacks to, to the D-line, uh, just just trying to get that ball off people, so. Let these guys go. Appreciate you.